In this video, we will be giving you an explanation on how to adjust the speed settings on a two-speed motor for a brush mulcher. For accurate and proper adjustments, you will require an RPM tachometer. First open this cover, then apply some reflective tape to the bottom pulley since we want to calculate the rotor speed, and the top pulley speed would differ from the bottom. Also make sure to have some support under the skis of your mulcher to avoid the rotor hitting the ground while testing. The ideal setting for the high speed would be 1800 to 2000 RPM, and the ideal setting for the low speed would be 1100 to 1300 RPM. Keep in mind that there should be around a 700 RPM difference between the high and low setting. These are the speed adjuster screws. To adjust the low speed, loosen this nut and turn this nut. And to adjust the high speed, loosen this nut and turn this screw. Turning the screws in will increase the speed, and turning the screws out will decrease the speed. Keep in mind that when you're adjusting the low speed adjuster screw, that the high speed adjuster screw will turn with, so this screw will need to be reset if you are only adjusting the low speed. Generally when you need to do a speed adjustment though, both speeds will need to be adjusted. So the rule of thumb is to adjust only the low speed, and then turn the high speed back half the amount of turns. This way both the high speed and low speed will be adjusted while keeping a 700 RPM difference between the speed. To get a speed reading, you will need one person in the carrier machine running the motor at full throttle while someone else points a tachometer laser to the rim of the pulley where the reflective tape is stuck on. Hold the tachometer still while doing the speed reading. In order to get a reading of the low speed, you will need to adjust the trip point. The trip point is the point of pressure that the motor would need to reach in order to switch from the high speed to the low speed. We want to put this trip point all the way down so that no resistance is required for it to shift into the second speed so that we can get a reading of the second speed safely. To do that, loosen this nut and turn this screw two turns out. You can then get the reading of the low speed. It's important to remember to turn the trip point screw in two turns again when you're done. You can also watch our video on adjusting the trip point for more information on how to tune it specifically for your carrier machine and preference.